and Jay Casario shooting a quick video for SLR Lounge on how to recreate golden hour sunlight while also recreating a little bit of lens flare. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how I do it, how I set up my flash, how I set up my camera. So I'm gonna take you step by step through it. Don't get in my shot yet. <laughs> it's just still my time to shine. First thing I do is I pick out my composition, what I wanna shoot. In this situation, I got this big field back here. I'm just going to back later with the 8200. I'm gonna to try to use a little bit of this grass. I'll put Cat the model right, right here in the grass and I'll shoot this way. So I have a Manfrotto, 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 12 foot stand. I got the 8200 angled down a little bit, and I'm gonna try to set it up so it aims right at my lens. All right, cat, climb in. Right here? Right there's good. I have the, the light about, I don't know, 15 feet, 20 feet behind her. Uh, and it basically gives the grid a little bit of spread. The grid is pointed directly at me. I got a warming gel on. I got it set for channel C, shutter speed 200, and my flash is set to 1 8 power. The only thing I gotta worry about composition-wise is make sure her head's above the horizon or below it. And I'm basically just taking test shots right now to see where the composition is. So now what I wanna do is I wanna put it off to the side a little bit so it's not directly behind her. All right, so I'm not getting much of a flare. I'm gonna bump the power up just to see how it looks. I'm gonna go to one half power. Bring the ISO down to 50. So all I'm doing right now is just trying to get a better composition. That's good, guys. Stay right there for a sec. For lens flare, right? Everybody just wants to put the light behind the client or the subject and just wing it, hope a flare shows up. You gotta try to use it to add to the image. It's gotta make it become a better composition. For this lens, I know it has to be on an angle that's pointed down, so I had to go higher with it because I wasn't getting a good flare. All right, turn your shoulders again, cat this way. Perfect, stay right there. Turn your back towards me and then look back over your shoulder at me. All right, so one more thing I'll do is I'll try to get some kind of other, I can't say foreground element because it's not between me and the subject, but it's between the subject and the flash to almost make a better composition, get more depth to the image, make it more 3D, make it pop a little bit more. Cat turn this way. All right, stand straight on to me. I want to make it so your chin's up, but both of your hands are in your hair and then turn a little bit this way. Yep, just like that, perfect. All right, so just to switch things up, I have a 90 millimeter F2, same settings. Put both hands up in your hair again. All right, turn this way completely. Right there. All right, everybody, it was just a real quick run through of how I do a one light setup to recreate golden hour light. A lot of times when I'm in a jam, or just on a wedding day when the sun goes down, or if it's cloudy, a lot of my clients want sun flare. They see my work and they, you know, they, that's what they want. So it's very easy to do a one flash setup, one trigger. So I try to make it look as natural as possible. So hey, thank you for checking it out. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.